The new 2018 Hyundai Elantra GT has a fairly impressive pedigree. Not only has the Elantra been sold in the United States for more than 30 years, worldwide, more than 5 million Elantras have rolled out of showrooms in 190 countries. A global car? You bet. Doubling down on the global theme, the Elantra GT is based almost entirely on Hyundai's i30, which is sold in Europe. Here's how the Elantra stacks up in the US, Hyundai has pushed more than 2.9 million Elantras out the door in America since 1991. The Korean car maker sold more than 200,000 Elantras for the fifth consecutive year in 2016. The Elantra accounts for 27% of all Hyundai Motor America sales and is the car maker's number one selling nameplate. Oh, and the Elantra sedan is built in Alabama, where more than half the Hyundai vehicles sold in America are assembled. Unlike sedan sales, which are struggling against the crossover onslaught, hatchback sales are growing. There's been a 17% uptick so far in 2017. This is good news for the Hyundai Elantra GT. Wide Open Spaces You probably can't tell by looking at the Elantra GT, but it's sufficiently roomy inside to be categorized as a large car by the EPA. Not only does this mean plenty of elbow room for up to 5 people, but its nearly 25 cubic feet of cargo carrying capacity behind the rear seats can accommodate almost twice as much stuff as the cargo hold of a Mercedes-Benz E-Class sedan. Against segment competitors, the Elantra GT can hold more gear than the Chevy Cruze, Ford Focus, Mazda 3 and Volkswagen Golf. But it gets even more impressive. With its back seats folded, this Hyundai hatchback out carries some small crossovers, such as the Chevy Trax, Toyota CHR, Jeep Renegade and Mazda CX-3. Who's on first? Hyundai offers two versions of the Elantra GT key to power range choices. The $20,235 Elantra GT pops out of the box with a 161 horsepower version of the Trident through 2.0 meter four-cylinder engine. Funneling engine power to the front wheels is either the standard six-speed manual or an optional $1,000 six-speed driver shift of an automatic transmission. Stepping up to the $24,135 Elantra GT Sport, a new 201 horsepower 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine turns the wheels via either a sport tuned six speed manual or an optional $1,100 seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted shift paddles. Regardless of the engine, the automatic tranny delivers better fuel economy than the six-speed manual. By government estimates, the Elantra GT with the manual transmission will get 23 miles per gallon in the city and 31 miles per gallon on the highway. Opting for the automatic ups the mileage to 24 miles per gallon city slash 32 miles per gallon highway springing for the Elantra GT Sport will ensure a lot more punch under the hood, but fuel economy results are mixed when compared to the entry-level version. With the manual transmission, the 1.6-liter turbo loses a little ground to the 2.0-liter, at 22 miles per gallon city slash 29 miles per gallon highway but with a 7-speed automatic. The Elantra GT Sport bests the base grade city fuel efficiency with 26 miles per gallon city slash 32 miles per gallon highway. More than skin deep. Hyundai is more than a little proud of its steel. It makes its own, you know. It's the only car maker sourcing its steel from, well, itself. In the case of the Elantra GT, Hyundai nearly doubled the amount of high strength steel in the new model over the previous one making it 22% more rigid. In addition to goosing driving dynamics, the new structure weighs less than the previous GT by more than 60 pounds. In another nod to its in-house steel production, Hyundai incorporated its new family cascading grille in the 2018 styling. Based on the shape created by a cauldron dumping its load of molten steel, the grille sets the tone for the fresh exterior lines. New standard vertical LED daytime running lights also dress up the front end. LED headlights are available. In the rear, available LED taillights, a rear spoiler and an optional dual exhaust highlight the design. 
Hyundai did a lot of work in the wind tunnel and developing improved aerodynamics. Because of their relatively squared off shape, hatchbacks are notoriously difficult to streamline. With the new Elantra GT, Hyundai achieved a 0.30 drag coefficient. Hyundai relied on more than the extra kick of the Elantra GT Sports powertrain to elevate performance. A fully independent multi-link rear suspension setup replaces the rear torsion beam suspension in the entry-level car. It also comes with standard 18-inch alloy wheels, as well as larger front and rear brake rotors. Engineers tinkered with the steering system, too. Take a seat. Inside, the cabin is roomy and quite comfy. Rear seat legroom would be a bit tight for taller folks, but that's about the only nit to pick. The cars we drove in and around Charleston, South Carolina at the GT Southeast Regional Media debut were well constructed inside and out. The most striking interior change is the new infotainment system. Anchoring the new system is a larger 8-inch touchscreen, now occupying its own standalone space in the center of the dashboard. Standard on every Elantra GT are Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Other standard goodies inside the GT include full power accessories, a tilt telescopic steering wheel with redundant audio controls, an audio system with satellite radio capability, Bluetooth connectivity, a rear view camera, seven airbags and remote keyless entry. Hill start assist is also standard. Ponying up the extra money for the GT Sport adds features like lane, keep assist, LED headlights and taillights, automatic dual climate control, a leather wrapped steering wheel and shift knob, leather seating and heated front seats. Optional on both the entry level and GT Sport is a panoramic sunroof. Safety, driver assist tech. If we have a second real drive with the Elantra GT, it's that only the GT Sport offers a suite of safety, driver assist technologies, and all but one of those are folded into the optional Sport Tech package. Lane Keep Assist is standard on the GT Sport. Bundled in with the Sport Tech package or advanced smart cruise control, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, high beam assist and driver attention assist. At the helm. At the Charleston Media Launch, we were able to drive the Elantra GT on a variety of roads, as well as on dry and wet pavement. Hyundai set its sights on the Volkswagen Golf when planning the i30. Although it may not have quite hit the bullseye, it came close. It feels stable and well planted in the turns, and the turbo in the GT Sport is responsive, with almost no hint of turbo lag when goosing the throttle. Although the entry-level GT is a bit sedate, it performs efficiently and without drama. Postscript In the Elantra GT and GT Sport, Hyundai found the sweet spot between function and fun. This is particularly true of the GT Sport. Good looks, ample cargo capacity, a comfortable ride and excellent road manners make the 2008 Elantra GT a serious competitor in the sporty hatchback segment.